Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Core Monsters. Today, we're going to be in New Orleans for our final event of the regular season. As per normal, we're going to start with racing. We have 10 trucks here today. We're going to see how everything unfolds. A lot of big names are out here. Up first, we're going to see Monty Nelson coming out in Child's Play. Now, I do want to say that this is not straight line racing here today. We are doing things a little bit different. Going to get good air off that second ramp there for Child's Play. Going to lean through the corner. Slow rolls over the cars. Now, you got to remember these trucks have to get all four tires up the ramp. So, you're going to see some drivers setting up a little bit going over these ramps, trying not to lose any time to a penalty. Pretty good solid run there for Monty. It's going to be a 23.971. I don't know how that's going to stack up as we go through the night, but it was a good pass. Now, we're going to see Todd Yates coming out in Dog Gone Crazy. Now, I believe this is a debut show for this truck, actually. So, I don't really know what to expect here. He's just rolling through, getting used to the truck, getting used to the track, you know. A lot of these guys, when they come out and debuts, this is where they're getting their experience, is just by out here doing it. These guys don't necessarily get a lot of practice time. These trucks cost quite a bit to operate. A good run there with a 24.665. Not bad for his first pass ever here in Core Monsters. Now we're going to see Samson Richardson coming out in Asphalt Assault. Rolls over the first ramp and over the cars. Good solid start there. Slow rolls it through the corner. Truck looks like it's pushing real hard. Kind of fighting him a little bit, but he's doing everything he can to make sure he keeps it clean and gets this run done. Doesn't look bad though. Solid run. Good air there. 24.177. So after three, we do still see Child's Play sitting on the top. Next up, we're going to see Curtis Sparks coming out in high voltage. This is a truck that's been known to surprise some people at times with how quick it is and how it freestyles. So hopefully he can do something here and change up the game a little bit. Good solid run so far. Very smooth through the corner. Really keeping the truck in control. Losing a little time there going wide to the last turn. He didn't want to turn in, but that's okay over the last ramp. Good run, a 22.661. That will be a new leader. Can anybody else here knock him off? Next up is Trip Cassidy in Outlaw Thunder. This is one guy who could knock Curtis off that top spot. We'll see how he gets through this run here. A lot of air over the cars, but turns in pretty good, but then pushes wide. He's going to lose a little time on that. Not quite sure he made it up that ramp. We'll have to see what gets called there. Good last turn. Very solid. Very, very good run. 22,690. I believe is just slower than high voltage. So, Curtis Sparks still sitting in the top spot. Now we're going to see Jack Schroeder coming out and try me. Now, he does have a racing win already this season. So, I would expect him to put on a good pass here. Nice tight in the corners. Slings it through, almost dirt tracking. Beautiful. Whips it around again. Very nice, tight corner. Beautiful truck control. Up and over the finish line with a 21.574. That is a new leader, and that is going to be the time to beat. That is a really fast pass here. Now we're going to see Mike Maxwell on loud pedal, who has been very fast in racing this season. Be up and over. Go through the turn, kind of slow into the turn, and it's pushing again. I've seen a lot of these trucks pushing through the turns. A lot of these guys are used to the straight line racing. They're not quite accustomed to these these turns. Gonna lose a little time setting up, trying to make sure he doesn't get that penalty on the ramp. 23.352 for Mike. Not a bad pass, but it's not going to be enough. That should put him somewhere around mid-pack, I believe. Now we're going to see Keith Johnson coming out in Sinful Addiction. This truck has been very fast. We go through the turn. Really slow, actually. The truck's not liking the turns. Still a good, solid pass, but definitely not going to be the fastest of the day. Oh, oh, and he definitely missed that ramp, so that is going to be a DQ for Keith and Sinful Addiction. That is very unfortunate. 
But thankfully, he wasn't on the fastest pass of his life ever. Now we're going to see Randall Boone coming out in Rat Trap. Always falls just short in racing. He wants a racing win. His teammate just keeps outdoing him by just ever so little. Very beautiful turn there. Really keeping the truck flat. Nice and tight. Pushes a little bit. Just gets it up over the ramp. Up over the last ramp. 21.599. Now that is not enough to take the lead away from Jack Schroeder and try me. Next up we're seeing Lonnie Hall coming out in Cottonmouth, Rat Trap's teammate. This truck has won every racing event it's been at so far this season, so I suspect that this will be fast. Nice and smooth through the corner. Had to get out of the throttle a little bit there before that ramp. He's losing a little time, he's getting real squirrely over these ramps, so I don't know. Can Jack Schroeder end? Lonnie's racing rain. Oh, what an awkward hit. Good landing, though. Keeps it together. 21.577. It is not enough. Jack Schroeder in Try Me is your racing winner with a 21.574. Followed up by Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth with a 21.577. Then we're going to see Randall Boone and Rat Trap with a 21.599. Next up is Curtis Sparks and High Voltage with a 22.661. Then we see Trip Cassidy with a 22.690 in Outlaw Thunder. Then we see Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal with a 23.352. Then Monty Nelson in Child's Play with a 23.971. Samson Richardson in Asphalt Assault with a 24.177. Then we see Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy with a 24.665. Then unfortunately for Keith Johnson, Sinful Addiction, ending with a DQ here today. All right, now here we go, guys. We're going to go into the final freestyle of our regular season. These 10 trucks here are going to put on a show for you. First up, we're going to see Todd Yates coming out in doggone crazy, as I said, in racing. This is a debut show for him, so I would suspect he may try to keep the truck together, but I don't know. I don't know this man very well. We're just going to have to see what he does. Starts with a good wheelie off the car. Definitely does seem like he's trying to feel the truck out, figure out how to get into these moves, what he wants to do. Good air there. Rolls over the little ramp there with the car. Kind of searching for his next hit. Looks like we're going to go back for a racing lane here. Yes, we are. Another good wheelie off the cars. Definitely showing plenty of potential here. Looks like the truck is set up really nicely. It's taken everything he's thrown at it so far really well. So I would suspect that as he gets used to this truck, his driving's really going to come out and he's going to be a threat. Good air over the racing lane there. He's definitely not afraid to put the pedal down. Roll over the car there. Good air off the little double over there on the side. Definitely giving us a good show, especially for a debut. 30 seconds remaining in the run. Gonna go up and over the van. Very nice. Beautiful control. Gets it over with no hang-ups. Good air off the little ramp there. 15 seconds remaining to see what he can still do for us. Looks like we're going back for another racing lane hit. Another good, solid sky wheelie off the racing lane. I am very happy to see how he's come out here and excited to see what he's going to do in the future. Good air to end the run there for Todd Yates and Doggone Crazy with a score of 15. It's a good score here to start us off in New Orleans. Next up, we're going to see Monty Nelson coming out in child's play. Again, it's been a while since we've seen him. I think he's only done maybe one or two other shows this season, but he's here to show out for you guys. Rolls over the first couple of ramps there. Nothing too crazy. Truck leans in a lot when he's turning. I don't think this truck has any sway bars on it. Good air over the racing lane. So this truck definitely leans over, and as the driver, you know, he sits on that left-hand side. So when it leans to the right, he's way up trying to figure out where that truck's at. Good donuts there for Monty and Child's Play. Beautiful to see. Rolling over the boats there. Getting a good start to the run here for him. It's nice and solid. Have to see what he does next. Kind of searching for the hits. Doesn't have a lot planned. Good air over the racing lane. You know, I believe a lot of these drivers plan maybe their first hit, maybe the next two or three. But after that, then they're kind of just looking at where they're pointed, making sure the truck stayed together. Here we are rolling, flipping back around to go the other direction here. 
Looks like we're going to go to the outer racing lane. 30 seconds remaining. Good air off the racing lane. Definitely a little lower momentum than we saw from Todd and Dog Gone Crazy. So I'm not sure how this is going to do scoring wise. Good Sky Willie there off the racing lane for Monty. But hopefully the slow momentum won't hurt him too bad in scoring. Second slow looks like we're going to get one hit over the racing lane to end the run. Good solid run for Monty there in child's play. Oh no, he's going to give you a little bit for the fans going over the racing lane again. Solid. Another good hit. It's going to be a score of 15 for Monty Nelson and Child's Play. Good way to follow up Todd Yates. It looks like we have a tie for the win right now, but we're just two trucks in. Now we're going to see Samson Richardson coming out in Asphalt Assault. This truck has done a lot of things in freestyle. Most of them have been end up on its roof. I don't know that it's completed donuts yet. He's going to start with them here today. Looks like he's going to keep the truck down as well. I have to say this is the best set of donuts I've seen from him so far this season. Beautiful cross thread over the racing lane to follow. Off to a really good start. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come for this run. Maybe we're going to see some crazy things. Good air off the racing lane. Flipping back around. Definitely keeping the momentum up so far. Looking for his next hit. Looks like we're going to go up over the boats again. Flips it right back around. This truck turns on a dime when he wants it to. Beautiful air over the racing lane. You see, this is what I was saying in racing, how some of these guys aren't used to these turns. You saw, like, this truck in racing. Oh, good save. Keeps it down. Got an awkward hit on that ramp there. But back to what I was saying, 30 seconds remaining. We're actually going to go for the van. Beautiful big air over the van. That was nice. Anyway, as you've seen, this truck here, Samson's been able to get this truck to turn real tight here in freestyle, but in racing, you saw him struggle with that. They're just not used to setting it up at that, in that setting. Beautiful sky when he lands vertically on the cars. So that's something these guys are going to get used to if we start seeing more of these oval-style track. Good air off the racing lane. We start seeing more of these oval-style tracks going and... These guys are going to have to get accustomed to that. Looks like the run's over. Is he going to give us something for the fans? Yes, he is. Good hit off the racing lane. Up on the front, and it's over on its roof again. He couldn't leave it be. He had to end on his roof for you guys. There it is. That's a score of 18 for Samson Richardson in Asphalt Assault. Next up, we're going to see Trip Cassidy coming out in Outlaw Thunder. That was a pretty high bar set in front of him there by Samson, so we're going to have to see how he follows that. Gonna start with good air off the racing lane, just a good pop, nothing too crazy or spectacular. Rolls it right back around off in the concrete a little bit there. There's coming cross thread across the racing lane, nicely done. Turn it around here. Looking for the next hit, taking a little bit to find it. Looks like we're gonna roll up the racing lane here. Good air off the racing lane. Nicely done. It was worth the delay there between hits. He wanted to make sure you guys got a good hit, not just anything. Up and over the boats. I'm going to turn it around. Looks like we're going to go back over to the other side of the track here. Utilizing every ramp he can. Good air off the racing lane again. Really just a nice run going for him here. Good momentum, good hits. I don't know right now that it matches what Samson did. Look at it. Goes for the barricades and knocks them all over in a domino effect. That was absolutely beautiful. If it was me, that would get a bonus point in scoring. That was gorgeous. Good air over the van again. Almost matches what Samson did. Trip is definitely putting it down. He wants to take this lead from Samson. And I think he could contend with it. Go back for another cross it across the racing lane. Nicely done. Awkwardly lands in between the ramps. He's going to roll to a stop. The score of 18. He is going to match Asphalt Assault. Good run for Trip Cassidy, but not quite enough to take the advantage. Now we're going to see Curtis Sparks coming out in high voltage. Hungry for a win. Hasn't had one this season. Really wants to throw down and get this truck its first win. Flip around, going right for the van, 
up and over beautifully done tries to get the wheelie gets a little one but nothing spectacular we'll flip it right back around going for the racing lane good sky wheelie awkward landing landed kind of to the side of the car so it had to bring it down at an awkward angle so he can't quite get out of it like he wanted to but he kept it together beautiful air off the racing lane keep the momentum up hasn't delayed in between hits just coming out and hitting everything that's in front of him it's what I like watching whenever they just hit everything good air off the outside racing lane over there he's coming back around to the racing lane on this side of the track slow rolls that ramp smushes the one last car that hadn't really been hit yet for the next hit over here right up in front of us rolls over oh there was a camper out and I hadn't even noticed it good hit on the camper there's an extra point right there just for being the first one to take on a camper nicely done kind of across the van very nice I like the way he's utilizing different angles of these ramps to get things done showing us what really can be done with these tracks that we have set up for these guys Going back to the racing lane. Nice vertical wheelie off the racing lane. Nicely done. Going to roll, kind of tap the car there in front of the van. Looks like that's going to be the end of the run for Curtis and high voltage. So anything extra is just bonus. He's going to roll up on top. Score of 19. He is going to take the lead. Curtis Sparks and high voltage just set a new bar for us. Definitely excited to see what the rest of these trucks are going to do to try and compete with that. Now we're going to see Jack Schroeder and try me. He has two freestyle wins this season, I believe. Maybe only one. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. So I suspect that this should be a good showing here. Especially following what we've seen. We've seen a lot of good hits. Big air off the racing lane for the first hit. Nicely done for Jack. We go for the racing lane next. Very nice. Good vertical. Skyway up on two. Is able to control it and bring it right back down nicely done that could have ended with him on his roof but he was able to save it gets a little air awkward on the second hit but controls the truck doesn't let it get too out of hand keeps it on all fours i don't know about you guys but it, i feel like he's driving this thing in there nice air off the racing lane doing everything he can to keep this truck together while still putting on a good show for you guys up over the van moves the van out of the way lands on the right front doesn't break anything that I can tell from here would have suspected maybe a four link or something to give there it looks like we're gonna go into some donuts here good donuts not as good as we've seen today but 30 seconds remaining still a good set of donuts cross threads the yellow lane over there gonna come back around looking for his next hit what's he gonna go for back to the van again Smushes the van. Nice. Good hit. Again, goes for the wheelie, kind of like we saw Curtis Sparks do earlier. And again, just doesn't quite get the full wheelie out of it. But gets a little bit better than we saw Curtis. Now we're going to go through the boats. Back to the van again. Kind of moves it back in place, but that's the end of the run. Score a 20 for Jack Schroeder and Try Me. So that is the new leader. And he can only at best be tied for a win. So congratulations to him on a great run, a perfect score. Now we're going to see Mike Maxwell coming out loud pedal. Now that is a huge ask to follow after that. Following a perfect score relatively early on in freestyle is a big bar. Goes right for the camper. Risky move there, but he's able to get off of it with no damages. You know, these campers, once they've been hit a time or two, they really get dangerous for these trucks. Seen them just destroy some parts. Oh, awkward landing there. Truck didn't really seem settled on that landing. Awkward hit off the racing lane there. The truck's kind of going at an angle now. As these cars get hit, they're giving way on one side. But it was still a very nice hit. And he's able to control it. Back over the other racing lane. Huge air. Right back around. What's he going for next? Coming back to this side of the track, it seems like. So we're going to roll over the boats on a cross thread. That's a really good hit for Mike. Hits that camper again and gets away with it again. I don't know if this guy's just lucky or what, but the camper has not hurt him here today. Good hit on the van. Nicely done. 
best wheelie we've seen off the van so far. Rolls it up, actually ends up on the front tires off the other ramp. Really throwing the truck around, showing us things we haven't seen. Nicely done, nice cross thread, good air. Absolutely love what he's doing here today. I definitely think he can compete with Jack for a perfect score. He's gonna whip it right back around, had good air, good momentum, he's just kept it flowing. Time is up, so these are his last hits. Everything else will be for the fans. Looks like he's going to flip the truck around right there. How about some fans for the donuts here? Give it up for Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal. What a beautiful run for him here today. Really good donuts to end on. Wow. All right, Mike, burn it down. Yes, sir. I don't know about you guys, but that was a nice set of donuts. I enjoyed that. Score of 19 for Mike Maxwell. It is not quite enough for the perfect score, unfortunately, for him. Next up, Randall Boone coming out in Rat Trap. This truck is a threat everywhere it goes. Again, most of the season, beautiful first hit. Most of the season, he's fallen just behind Lonnie and Cottonmouth. See, we have another camper out. They've moved, repositioned that stack and brought another camper up vertically across the top of the camper absolutely gorgeous hit brings it down slaps it into a wheelie randall what are you doing you madman that was gorgeous here we go up and over the racing lane nice beautiful vertical hit I'm move around to the other side of the track here over the yellow racing lane another good solid hit good air Keeping the flow up, keeping the momentum. Not quite as much momentum as we've seen from some other trucks, but that first hit, or not the first hit, but that hit over the camper is going to be a lot of points for this run. That was a gorgeous hit. Huge air over the yellow racing lane. Randall wants this win. He knows now he can only tie for it, but that alone is still huge. Vertical lands on the tailgate. Beautiful sky wheelie. Best one we've seen of the day. I believe the tailgate's actually gone now. We're going back for the camper again. Up and over. Huge air. Doesn't even touch the camper. Beautiful run from Randall Boone so far. I suspect that this will likely tie Jack. But if it was me, I think this deserves more. This has been a gorgeous run. Randall really has thrown down here today. Going into donuts to end it. These do count for scoring. Look at the momentum of those donuts up and over on the roof. Score of 20 there for Randall Boone and Rat Trap. So he will officially tie for the win here. And I believe we have two or three trucks left to follow. Now we have Keith Johnson and Sinful Addiction coming out. After watching Randall Boone's run, Keith is really going to have to throw down to keep the judges' interest. That was a beautiful run in front of him. Good first hit for Keith. Whip it around to the other side of the track here. Yellow racing lane. Good air. Gets it turned around. Nicely done. Good air off the outside racing lane. We haven't seen a lot of trucks get really good air out there, so it's good to see. Looks like we're rolling over slowly over the camper. I don't know if he just wanted to get the camper repositioned or what. Hits over the boats. Good air. Well, the way he set that hit that camper and kind of moved it makes me wonder if he's going to go back and try and smash it good hit off the red racing lane here oh he moved it out and he nails it in the side that was a good move for Keith there I like how he did that going right back up and over it now he's got to get over the van but he makes it that was just nice that was pure destruction right there 30 seconds remaining Keith has really come out and said you know what I'm going to do something different here and he is putting on a show Nice hit. Nice sky wheelie off the yellow racing lane there. Gets the truck turned right back around. We've seen great momentum in this run. Different moves. This is a hard one to judge. Gets the ramp sideways there. Kind of gets it up on two, but controls it. Brings it back down. Keith is really throwing out a really solid run here. That is the end of the run. So everything else is for bonus. Looks like we're going back over the camper. And the van, really nice. He is showing off for you fans here today.
He's going to park it over here right in front of the camera. That is a score of 20 for Keith Johnson and Sinful Addiction. That is three trucks with a perfect score here today. Next up, Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. The guy hasn't done a freestyle run that has not been a perfect score. So will we have four trucks tie for the win here? Good Sky Wheelie to start right up onto the tailgate. Man, just he puts that pedal down. That truck goes straight up. Something about that cantilever suspension. This truck loves to do power wheelies. Awkward hit. Controls it. Doesn't break anything. Really good thought process there to get the truck. Just woke up enough to keep it together. Huge air off the racing lane. Looks like we're going to get it turned around. Going right for the camper. And the van. Nice hit. Nice wheelie. Keeping the momentum going, Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. He has done this all season, everywhere he's been. It's been huge runs. Nice cross thread there. Across the barricades the other way. Not as satisfying as the, when Trip did it in Outlaw Thunder, but still nicely done. Another beautiful cross thread lands on the tailgate again. Knocks one of the barricades loose. 30 seconds remaining here for Lonnie Hall. Looking for anything he can for a hit. Everything has been hit and destroyed and demolished. This is the downside of being the last truck out. Going to roll up and over the van. Not getting a whole lot of wild wow moments now. He started out real strong, but he's really kind of slowed it down here. We're going to go into some donuts, I guess, to end the run with five seconds remaining. I don't know if he's going to get out in time to get another hit. He is not. That is going to be the end of the run, so everything else he does will be for the fans. Good hit on the outside racing lane here, closest to the camera. He's flipping the truck around here. Looks like we're going for the van again. That's where he's going to park it. It's not enough. Score of 19 for Lonnie Hall. That is the first time he has not scored a perfect score. So here today we have three trucks with a 20. Rat Trap, Sinful Addiction, and Try Me tying for the win here in New Orleans. Cottonmouth following up with a 19, as well as High Voltage and Loud Pedal with a 19. Then we're going to see Asphalt Assault with an 18, Outlaw Thunder with an 18, then Child's playing Doggone Crazy, rounding out the field with a 15. But man, I don't know about you guys, this has been a fantastic showing here in New Orleans today. All the excitement from these guys coming out and throwing down in the last event of our regular season. So keep in mind, next time we see you, we will be at the first Core Monsters Finals with all the trucks that have qualified. So guys, I cannot wait until next week to do finals. Please join me. We'll see you there. Take it easy.